why no contact is not the end of the narcissist. You may have tried very hard to make things right with the narcissist. You may have been trying to get their attention. You may have been texting them all the time. But they just replied with one word answers. Or maybe they replied hours later after you texted them. It just seems like they weren't interested in you. You couldn't get their attention. So eventually, you just gave up. You stopped trying. You stopped texting them. You went no contact. You decided to move on. You focused on yourself. Maybe you met someone else. Because you spent so much time pursuing the narcissist. You spent so much time chasing after them and not getting your desired outcome or result. You accepted that nothing was going to change. But no contact is not the end of the narcissist. Because once you go no contact, it's only a few days or weeks until they come back. It's only a few days or weeks until they hoover you, until they start texting you again, until they re-idealize you. They love bomb you. And now they're giving you compliments. They're buying you gifts. They're trying to get your attention. Which can leave you very confused. Because it makes you wonder why would they want you now? After you went no contact. After you left them alone. After you forgot about them and moved on. No contact is not the end of the narcissist because they seek validation. They seek reassurance. They need attention. But when you're still communicating with the narcissist, you're giving them attention. You're giving them your time and energy. You're making them feel important. So they're getting what they want. They're getting your attention. Even if they don't really value it. Which is why when you go no contact with a narcissist, they suddenly come back. When you're giving them lots of attention, they don't appreciate it. And they already know what you want. They know that you just want to solve the situation which is naturally what they're going to withhold from you because they don't need anything from you in return since you've already given them your attention which they don't value once you've given it to them.
they're more attracted to you when you withhold your attention. When you go no contact, they want to come back. Rather than when you give them all of your attention, then they just take you for granted. They have no interest in making it work with you. They play games and cause disruption. Because at that point they don't even care. Since they've already got your attention, your focus is already on them. No contact is not the end of the narcissist. Because as soon as you go no contact, that's when they come chasing after you. They only seem to value you when they think you want nothing to do with them. Because they know that they're nothing. And they assume that if you want anything to do with them, you can't be anything great. It's only when you leave and move on with your life that they then realize you have something because they can't recognize the value in anything they possess. They always take it for granted. Which is why they're always trying to provoke envy and jealousy within you. because they can only gain satisfaction from what they have by experiencing it vicariously through you. But when you stop caring about the narcissist, that's when they suddenly start worrying about you. That's when they suddenly develop this curiosity about what you might be doing without them. You may remember a time when the narcissist said or did something and you didn't want to be around them. And then suddenly they started pursuing you. They were trying to get your attention. They were chasing after you because they were trying to get validation. They need your energy. They want to know how you feel about them. They want to see your reaction. And when you're constantly reacting to them and letting them know how you feel, they don't want to hear it. They have no interest in anything you have to say. They will be more focused on themselves and their own lives. Whenever you try to get close to the narcissist or you try to improve your relationship with them, they always back away. They always have some excuse for why they can't act right. They always play games. Whenever you tell them how you feel, they mock you or ignore you. Because deep down they know they don't deserve to be loved. They know they're not worthy of it. Which is why they cannot accept it. So when you try to build anything meaningful with a narcissist, 
or you try to improve the relationship, they will back away or they will cause disruption because they don't feel comfortable in functional environments. They thrive in dysfunction because a functional environment only reveals their flaws and their inability to experience love or joy. Which is why when you try to create a functional environment with them, they're only going to tear it apart. And then, and then they're going to blame you for everything that went wrong. They're going to act like it's because of something that you did. When you pursue the narcissist, they will run away. But as soon as you go no contact, they will pursue you. When you focus on your life, they will come running back. But I'm not saying that going no contact is a bad thing. You cannot win with the narcissist. So your only option is to leave. But it's important to be aware of what will happen when you do leave. The narcissist may act like they don't care about anything while you are with them. But when you go no contact, you will see a different side of them. Because they cannot deal with rejection. So be aware that even though you may have gone no contact with the narcissist, it doesn't mean that's the end of a narcissist. The end is only the beginning. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.